Hello, my dearest, it's me, Kiri Sakijaki, aka Kisa, and welcome back to Imposter Factory. Let's go. We need to keep checking if they're dead or if they're alive. Oh, they're alive. You're gonna say something about it? Exit room to reset and then enter again. Hey, if you don't mind me asking, what is the point of this? I mean, we're just resetting until they're dead. Why not just make them dead? It is not about them dying, but when they die. Each reset is configured with specific, specific conditions. Patterns will be derived from experiment data. Hypothesis will be tested, cause will be determined. Cause will be determined. Hypothesis. Okay. What do you even do? He's just a kitty cat. So we go out and then you go in again. Okay, they're still pretty much alive. Right. So out. In. Still alive. Out. In. Dead. Anomaly detected. Right. Wait a minute. Does this have something to do with the cat? No, not you. You know, the, uh, sh the shru... Schrodinger cat? Schrodinger's cat? Do you mean Schrodinger's cat? No, I'm pretty sure it's Schrodinger's cat. Yes. It does not. Oh, okay. I mean... It would make sense, though, right? If we go back in... Okay, it's not resetting anymore. Alright. So, it's not a Schrodinger scat. Why is this... Look at the way that this cat is walking behind me. That's awkward. Make it stop. Okay. Alive. You gonna say something different? If you're gonna be here too, anyhow... Why do you even need me here? Because Quincy is also test subject. In addition, data shows Quincy presence alters results. I change things by just being here? Why? Inconclusive, more data needed. Maybe because it was never part of this scenario. Because like, he never really came here, so he never really, really rallied. He never really met these people, so maybe by the fact that he's not part of that memory itself, they don't understand why this is happening. Anomaly detected. Alright. Wait, if instead of the two professors, it's the cat! Then, would it be like Shroomdigger's cat? It would not. Okay. Shame, I was really expecting it to be Shroom, Shroom Digger's death cat. Shroom Digger's cat. Alright, we're going up. Stop. Why? Over time. Wow, so powerful. Amazing. <laughs> I thought he was going to tell me to go somewhere else first, but uh, sure, I accept that. Can I try this room? Locked. Uh, the cat room. Locked. Okay. Then to the study. Oh, I thought uh, I was going to say like, oh, nobody made the animation for this cat to run. So he was just like hovering, but no. Okay, what do you have to say? Wait, he just occurred to me. By doing the resets, am I technically the one killing them? Quincy is not the one doing the reset. Oh, whew. However, Quincy is cause of death by observation. Damn it! Wait, what do you mean? Professor status only calculated upon observation. Quincy observation causes status. Status is death. Therefore, Quincy causes death. Mathematically speaking, it makes sense. Okay, I don't like that. 
Yeah. Wait, are you getting longer? Are you getting longer? Okay, let's go. Ouch. I think this time they're going to be dead again. Oh, not yet. Not, not dead. Are you going to say something interesting? No? Okay. Then out. Then in. Not dead. I thought you were going to die faster this time. Dead. Not dead. And now, dead. Okay. Anomaly detected. Are you gonna say something smart about cats again? Not this time. Okay. They are very much dead. Yeah, you're definitely getting longer. Don't say that. All current anomalies noted. Awaiting limb rate for report. Right. So we needed that. Door's locked. Now what? We go downstairs and wait for Limri to show up or something? I guess. Can I try to go to the bathroom? Oh, Limri. Limri? Limri, what happened? Why are you crying? Limri, you back. Limri? What's going on? Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Uh, L Limri, you're scaring me. I just need a moment. What happened? What did you see out there? Nothing. Hey, you can tell me. It's not like I'm gonna run with it. Linry? Did she literally saw nothing? Linry, initial tests were completed. The hypothesis halts. Continue. Yeah. I'll be there. Soon. Affirmative. Proceeding to party hall. The hypothesis. Please proceed to the party hall. But Larry is crying! Reset time! Reset time! I cannot even go anywhere. Larry! Okay. He's not gonna let me do anything else, so I need to be here. What is happening? It is starting. Huh, I remember this from the memory. They demoed the machine here, right? I don't think the replay got that far, though. This is the furthest point. Huh? Death is variable, but... All death tangents link to this moment. When they demoed the machine for the guests? Affirmative. Data predicts if we leave this room now, everyone will die. Everyone here will die. Data predicts. Why? Now, let us leave this room. What? Do we have to? It is imperative. Leave this room and come back to confirm. I... Please leave and come back to this room. The scene will not be reset and deaths are expected. But... Uh, okay, I guess I'm running with the robot. Please proceed to the party hall. What the... She's gone. Data shows Limri is offline. Again? Do I trust you, Ricebot? She will be back. In the meantime, please return to Party Hall. Robot, since I watched Portal 2 and Portal 1, since Gladys, I don't trust robots. Doesn't matter if you make a delicious rice. They're all dead. They're all dead, robot. 
Deaths confirmed. Resetting room. Uh, wait, if you could just reset the room while we're in here. Why did we have to leave and come back every time earlier? Leaving was not necessary for reset. Leaving was necessary for death. What? Whenever we look, they do not die. Whoa, what happened? I... I'm not certain. This isn't supposed to. It never happened before. Under this scenario, equipment damage occurs. Core computing unit in basement is destroyed. Destroyed? How? Data unknown. Resetting. Now, the final test. Quincy will go to basement. The core computing control room? Affirmative. Both sites will be observed. Data anomaly is expected. Kind of anomaly. Unknown. Guess I'll find out then. Do you remember the entrance? The pool table? Affirmative. Please proceed. Uh, I don't like this. Wait. It is dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> Take this. Take the cat. <laughs> Take this. Okay. Take this. Cat join the party. <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? Uh, let me let me take the long cat with me, shall we? I, I mean, it's not going to do any bad, but is it going to do any good? I don't know either. Hop up, kitty cat. We're going down. I mean. He cannot really see what happened, doesn't matter in which memory he's in, unless he's in the memory of the person that caused this. Okay, we're down. Why not creepy with no one here, though? Yeah, stay closer, cat. Just... stay where I need to go, I suppose. Alright. What the bug? I'm going to start to use that for life now. What the bug? Instead of what the, you know. I don't remember this hole being nearly this long before. Yeah, it's not good, is it? But how long are we talking about? What was that? Cat, are you going to protect me, right? Right? Cat, protect me, please. I don't like this. Did you did you hear that? Something's not right. Dude, if I went to horror games, I would be back playing Soma. Okay, okay. Okay. Very long corridor. Okay, you know what? Stop. Just stop it. What the pug is this? Why is the corridor so long? Where does the light keep coming from? It was with all the weird sounds. You hear that? Freaking creepy wood creaky. How? It's all metal and concrete here. There is no wood. Again, cannot scream because microphone. And you, what do you even do? How are you supposed to protect? You don't even have a knife! You're just a cat! And now that I think about it, you weren't even that long! Stop saying that he's long, he's not that long! If you were, if you were only actually helpful... 
Oh, the cat's crying too. Oh, Quince is having a mental breakdown. Okay, look. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> it's just... It's just been a rough day, you know? I mean, first all the murders, and then I found out that I don't exist. Even for an optimist, that stings. On the upside, I guess it really can't get any worse from here. I think his personality really helps to keep everything together. Come on, let's go finish this. Whatever's up ahead, I'll take it. This light. Someone is watching. Wait, what was that? Cat? Is he evolving? Catmon digivolves too! Fight Catmon! Or Pokemon or something. Nice. You've changed. You've become something else. Something more. <laughs> yeah! You taking the lead? Don't worry, Quincy. The cat protect. At the darkest hour, you've really come through for me. I'm sorry I even doubted you. He is long. All right, let's go observe the pug out of that computer. Yeah, they're gonna observe it very hard. Observe with like amazing eyes. Look at how angry they are right now. How long is this corridor? Why I cannot run? Hello? Linry? You're, you're back. Yeah, sorry. I had to step out to double check something. Are you almost at the control center? I sure hope so. We've been walking for ages. The corridor leading to it seems to be stretched. It seems to be looping. Boy, I'll say. Wait. You mean, literally? Yeah, hang on. It should be fixed now. Ah, thanks. But why was it like that? I'm not certain, but the room should be just ahead now. Tell me when you get there. I'll start the demo sequence then. Alright. I think it was like that for comedy purposes. Like we need something funny. Why is this computer just left, like, right here in the middle of... No ah, I'm playing as the cat now. Since the cat is the lead, I play as the cat. Hmm. Well, we're finally here. And we are observing. You ready? Yeah. Okay, Larry, do you hear me? Yeah, the scene is ready and loaded. Should we, uh... Prepare for something? Just being there is enough. We'll have your da data stream. You only need to stand there and observe. Okay, I'm good at that. Yeah, we've been doing that for quite some time now. Well then, shall we begin? Begin the final test? Sure thing. There's not much I can do right now. Yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. Go for it. Okay, the demo scene is starting. You should see the machine powering up. It is powering up. That's amazing. Yeah, it just did. Good. Keep your eyes on it and tell me if you see anything weird. Uh-huh. I'm keeping my eyes on it. Hmm. Do you see anything? No, it seems to be running normally. It does seem to be running normally. Although... Although... There's some weird sound. What kind of weird sound? Is the machine short-circuiting? Circuiting? No, it's not coming from the machine. It seems to be coming from... The computer on the other side? Oh. Oh, oh, it's the vent. Oh, it's the monster. Oh, Christ. Oh, the cat ran off. Uh, Limri? The, the gods of the multiverse are very angry with me. Quincy? The system is almost ready. What are you seeing? Venom. 
Uh, what is that? Tentacles. Death. And destruction. What was that? What happened? Uh... Yeah. Definitely the gods of the multiverse. What is that? Who are you? It's someone. It's a person? Who? who uh, excuse me? Sir? Person? Madam? Thing? Uh... If that really happened, he wasn't really supposed to see it. Don't move. What's that? What are you? Why can I get a reading on you? You already know why. Then, are you the reason? When I unplugged from here earlier, when I logged off, there was nothing. Nothing but the machine to log back in with, as if the entire world just vanished. Am I not real either? No, you are real. Relative to this place, at least. Limri? Then, how many? Too many. What is he talking about? Too many what? Too many worlds. We're a long way up, Quincy. There are a lot of layers beneath us. Layers? So it is the gods of the multiverse. I may have created your world, but another had created mine. Over and over until after however many layers. At the bottom of the stack, there exists a world that ran the first simulation. So they are deep down in an extreme simulation? But as each simulation creates another, the original at the bottom is weighted down more and more. Until finally, even if just one more simulation is created, no matter how abstract, it would be enough to overload and collapse the entire structure. Tell me. Are we at the top of that stack? You're correct. Then, there's something that I still don't get. Why don't you just cut the infinite loop from the get-go? Why are you trying to preserve this world without eliminating us? And why are you here, even bothering to talk to us about any of this? So, one of you are the patient, right? Why do you even bother talking to him? Hey, I'm right here! That's different. He's... He's... Limri? Tell me, who are we to you? To me? Faye? Faye! To me, you are no one. But then again, that doesn't mean much. I'm not so different from that rice spot of this world, after all. You don't look like a rice spot. No, I certainly hope not. Were you also an AI refit for the simulations? Refit? But, uh, not exactly. I'm trying to sit down properly. Wait. 
but I sure do clean up after your mess just the same. These worlds may be simulations, but the automation still follows the laws of physics. To a fault, really. In cases like this, for example, someone has to manually prevent everything from imploding. Fortunately, I happen to have an innate disregard for the laws of physics. But that's all a story for another day. Go watch Finding Paradise or play it. It's extremely necessary to understand who Faye is. Hey, why are you... I'm pretty sure, though, if you were watching this, you already saw Finding Paradise or played it. From all the people, she was the last one that I was expecting. Shall we? Are you going to explain all the words for me now? Alright, we are flying on the paper plane from Finding Paradise. That's great. There are a lot of tangents out there beyond this one. <laughs> Each moment blooming into countless branches of their own. But this particular tension is being observed because it's special. It's special because despite being at the top of the stack, it was almost identical to base reality. Right. There. Everything began unfolding the same way. Your childhood, your youth, your diagnosis. Just like here, against all odds, you kept pushing on. Never wasting a moment to unravel as much of the world as you can while well, you still could. You learned all you could, tried as hard as you could. You met someone. Someone you imagined the future with. And graduated into a career where you felt you could make a difference. For a while, at least. Until it became something else, too much to bear. You escaped, traveled the world. And wonder why you didn't do it sooner. The base reality where we're from, it all followed the same course. That is, up until that point. The baby point? When you came back from the trip and found out you were pregnant. When you became ill halfway through the pregnancy. When you had to make that choice between yourself and the child. You chose to delay your surgery until he was due. You chose the child. So she is the patient. Congratulations, but please rest well. You need some time to recover, but we're quite behind already. We'll be transferring you to surgical unit soon. I understand. How's he doing? It's okay. You're the one we should be worrying about. He's tiny. Our little Toby Reynard. <laughs> Actually, about that. 
been thinking, well, maybe, maybe he should take your surname instead. My surname? I mean, I can't think of any reason why not. But after all that, I can't think of lots of reasons why he should. I'd love that. Although, Toby doesn't ring as well with what, does it? I knew it! <laughs> I said so! Do you have something else in mind then? How about Neil? I said so! I fucking said so! They are Neil parents! Neil, huh? Yeah, I like it. Our little Neil Watts. It is. In base reality, your son never had the complications of an early birth. He made it through childhood just fine. With all the love you and Quincy could give him. But as for you, you never fully recovered. With a delay, the treatment couldn't revert your decline. And you spent much of your remaining years bedridden. Still, perhaps out of the will to be there for him, you lived long past your prognosis. To watch him grow up, even if just a little more. But eventually, as you felt your time coming near, you sought out some old friends. To leave something for him for when he grows up. You left him a piece of your memories. At the time, there was no way to decrypt it. But still, someday, you hoped. When he rains, he pours. Soon after you passed away, your son was diagnosed with the same hereditary condition. But perhaps it was a reminder of his limited time here, Memento Mori. It stirred up something within him, pushing him further as it did for you. And although he tried distancing himself from others, knowing what might await those who get close, as we saw in the minisodes, he wasn't successful with everyone. Fucking Eva, dude! Slowly, from the very basic, he worked and worked, all the way past the research he left behind. But despite it all, when the time came, again and again he was rejected by the Foundation over your incident. So instead, he sought an alternate route. He pivoted to an external company that licensed the imperfected technology. And rather quickly, he made it into the ranks. With some help from a friend. It was a company where he could still access the code and hardware of the technology. A company that used it to fulfill less wishes by implanting the memories of a new life. Sigmund Corp. A company called Sigmund Corp. Yeah, we know that one. What a life, eh? So this is him encrypting the memories of his parents, or what his mom left behind? It's been many years since then. 
In that time, his aid had countless patients and witnesses many lives go by. All while perfecting the technology on his own according with the hardware and data access. And today, in that world, he succeeded. The world that we're in, and every world in its stack it stands upon, they're the results of the first functional stress test from the machine he perfected. The first successful test. This machine he built, what is it for? Oh, that was Quinn's. A window to a world where everyone could leave a part of themselves after they're gone. So that everyone who ever existed, no matter how ephemeral, could have a lasting place in this world. And without having to say goodbye even earlier than they have to. To see and experience all the different possibilities this life has to offer. All my life here since the day he was born, I wished I made a different choice then. I'm so glad that somewhere out there I did. I'm so glad that he's made it. He did. Hey. It's almost time. Now that we've gone beyond the boundary of set events, this tension needs to be determined. Terminated, sorry. Terminated? It's just one tension. Can you let it run it just this once? But it's not just this one tangent. Out of the countless paths the test generated, this is not the only one that reached this point. As I speak to you on this roof, I am also speaking to thousands of other versions of you elsewhere. They too managed to dig deep enough to have found me. And if I don't determine if I don't terminate them, the foundations will fail and take everything with it regardless. This world was never meant to exist beyond this point. But the worlds aside, I might have a way to give you more time. When you're ready, come with me. There's a place we need to go to. Anomaly detected. Rice spot. You guys got here just in time. Hey, can they come with us? No, I'm afraid not. Where we're going, there's no protocol for them. They'll have to stay here. Can we say goodbye? Hey, how about what happened back there? I know, it was pretty scary, huh? Listen, I don't blame you for running. To be honest, I was so panicked that I didn't even notice you were gone. <laughs> I did. On the other hand, uh, sorry we got the world deleted. I'd say curiosity killed the cat, but I guess we weren't even alive, even ever even alive. I honestly still don't know what your deal is, but maybe I'll see you at a reboot one day and find out, yeah? Take care, little dude. So, uh, you heard that, right? Affirmative, I am linked to Limri's data feed. But do not worry, for I am well versed. Well versed in what? Making rice? In ceasing to exist. I am shut down daily. I'm not sure if this is the same thing, but let's hope so. There can be no difference between nothingness. Farewell until next time. Farewell, Rice Bot. There's more. Why is there like this 
things here. Ah, it's the hole. Right. The groundkeeper would be livid. <laughs> would it? Yeah, the statue never really explained to me why it disappeared. Cheeky. Very much. And there's nothing here. Well, shall we go? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, um... Limri? I'm ready. So, where are we going? Yeah, foo, sorry. Yeah, Faye, where, where are we going? Somewhere far, but you be among good company. Now, this ride might be a bit more intense than the last one. Would you like to frost seat of, or the back? The, the front seat or the back of frost seat? It really doesn't matter to me. I guess the Limerick can sit up front. All right, your call. I don't want to sit. I don't want to sit on a paper plane. I, I really don't want to. Okay. That's not nice. <laughs> yes, a lot of a uh, curse. This is not nice at all. Where the cucumbers are we going? Hey, nice. Look at that. We've reached our station. The universe? Looks like we're the last the last to arrive. The last ones? Hi! What is all this? Uh oh mama. Are these all versions of you from Tangents where I materialized? Yes. The salvageable ones at least. Salvageable ones? Well, we can't extend every rogue version of you, but... If we consolidate the one similar enough, then there'll only be one set to deal with. That is the way to win the rogue infinite loops, but still keep you in a sense. Speaking of which... I think everyone's here. Are they all here? Okay, now there's only two of them. Marvelous. There, isn't that all better? Sorry you have to see me like this, but I'll try to be quick. Are you going to become like the god of this world? What are you doing? Didn't I tell you already? I'm saving the world. All right, saving it by destroying it. She destroyed the earth. Finally, some peace and quiet. She was very awkward on uh, last one as well. All these lights. It's time for them to rest, so others may keep shining. What are you doing, Faye? Beyond that gate, you find a new life for yourselves. One where your illness is cured, where everyone lives happily ever after. It will be a linear illusion with little resource required to maintain. But to you, it will feel like a lifetime as real as your own. Think of it as a parting gift. You hear that, Limri? We get to live the perfect timeline! Limri? There's no point. I'm beyond grateful that our son is out there, but our purpose here is done. What truly happened beyond this world is already set. Why would another virtual ride made matter when not even our own did? 
I've already seen all of their... All there is to see. All that truly matters, anyway. But... Hmm. But what if you haven't? I mean, I certainly have my world shattered, too. In more ways than one. But if anything, doesn't this broaden the possibilities, not narrow it? And for that matter, why does it even matter if our reality is in Bay's reality? They may not be the reality, but they were still our realities and all that we know. I mean, who's even to say that hers is truly the ultimate end of the stack? What's beyond that gate? It may not be real relative to her, but it's just as real relative to us. And who knows, maybe it'll be a glimpse of a reality that is truly out there somewhere. A reality that we can visit, and time to grow older together. What do you say, Limri? Wanna go on one last trip together? Yeah. Why not? I mean... You'll wait for us until then? I won't need to wait. To me, time is a place. Go on. Your new life is waiting. Is it? So they'll finally be able to live the life that they always wanted? It's amazing that Neo actually saved Faye so she wouldn't have to like die with the uh, the guy from the last the last one. What was his name? Why do I remember Faye's name but not the name of the guy that actually created Faye? Hey, she's a kid again. But will she leave her life remembering everything that she saw or like her memories were erased there they are I will believe on the possibility that she had her mind uh, her memories erased yeah see she's happy Happiness without a disease, who would have thought? Is that Emily? Yeah, that's Emily, her best friend. <laughs> Just like, whoosh! But why is he treated us like. Just like, go for it? Where's his childhood? We need more of Quince. We have so much of her. That's lovely, though. What did we work at? <laughs> Was that Long Cat fighting Long Cat? I miss music. This time was supposed to be like someone singing. Why there's no one singing? There we go, baby Neo is coming. Happy birth, no death, no waiting to die. <laughs> hey, there's Eva! You guys took your time? Nice. <laughs> so is he and Eva best friends or like Hey so uh, oh, what was their name again? I forgot. <laughs> Are they going to fall from the boat? 
<laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh, we all knew that Neo and Eva would get married, right? That's so adorable. Uh, <laughs> I want music! Where is the cute music that always plays after that? Who's that boy? Who, who are you? Who are you, child? Are you- are you- Wait, I want to talk with the boy! Stop running! Stop running! Ah, uh, uh, Child! Not you, that child. Okay, whatever. I don't want to talk with that child anymore. Oh, they're just cheering. They're not gonna say anything. I think that's Rox and that's Lee. <laughs> hey, I can dance with them. That's so adorable. Hi, Limri. Yeah, let's dance for to almost no music. Lovely. What am I seeing? Why are they? Are you going to show me them? There they are, the lovebirds! <laughs> Don't disturb. Do they really got married though? This is just an alternate universe. Because I really don't imagine Eva and Neo having this type of interaction at all. Even if they love each other, I really don't imagine them having this interaction at all. Hey, baby Neo and baby Eva. <laughs> right. What's up with the only child thing? Like, they only have one kid. They need more. You gonna say something? Well... We had a good run, huh? The best. Oh, hey, Faye. You came to pick them up? It's about time. This is all I could manage to do. Was it enough? More than I could ever ask for. But... I just wish he were actually here. He is here. He's been here this whole time. And from now on, he always will be. From now on, everybody will be. Is Neil the pension? Is Neil dying? Oh no, I don't know if I want to know. I really don't know if I want to know. That's a nice picture. Is an actual animation? That's progress. Hmm. What is that? That's like the theme song, isn't it? Oh. That was it?
so Neo did die. Oh, oh, I can hear music. Right. I don't know what to say. I was expecting more tears at the end, but... What I did understand is that... Neil... Neil died. He was the patient, wasn't he? And this is just his own way... Of having the life that he wanted to see? Like, did he put the way that he wanted to live his life with his parents until the end? But asked Faye to do it because he could not ask the others to do it for him? Uh, space to continue. Yes, please continue. Tell me. There's more to it, right? It is. There he is. Neo, my boy. What's going on? I am so confused. Oh, Neo, there you are. Oh, he's not dead. Okay. I just can't hold it in anymore. I must confess to you. That's not funny. <laughs> it's a little funny. It's Faye. So, did I handle that all right? Yeah, thanks. Strange how that's supposed to be the perfect timeline. Though... No. It only felt perfect because it had the context of ad adversity that already exists here. Without that, there was nothing to overcome. It passed by without even a meaningful ripple. But still... Are you familiar with the library of Babel? 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 I can't be. Should I download the encyclopedia on it? <sighs> no, that's alright. It's the theoretical library of books containing every possible combinations of letter and punctuation. Anything that can be written or ever will be can be found there. So it's mostly nonsense and noise, but... Once in a while, you reach for a book, and it just happens to be exactly what you need. What is that? A perimeter breach attempt. You gotta go. Perimeter breach? What perimeter? Wait, you don't mean... Oh, there he is. He's home. So he's not dying. Okay, I'm a little bit happier now. <laughs> Roxy, calm down! Neil! I don't have your staplers, I swear. Oh, don't be silly, we're just nearby. Nearby now, very far an hour ago, before deciding to be nearby. <laughs> yeah, what are the chances, right? So anyway... We're gonna go somewhere red, you in? How red? Surprisingly red. Hard pass. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Leave me alone. Jeez, somebody's a party pooper. Well, alright. I guess no all-you-can-eat ice cream for Neil, then. Bye, Roxy. I said, I guess no all-you-can-eat ice cream for Neil, then. I want to scream more, but I can't. The microphone just cut off. We might as well, Neil. Who knows when will be the next time we'll be able to. How'd you change so fast? It's a coat, not a cocktail dress. I'm expecting greatness. <laughs> uh, you forgot to close the... door. 
Is somebody in there? Hello? Yeah, we had that in a few, like, mini-zodes or even episodes. I think it was in the mini-zodes. This weird sensation. It's coming more, right? This weird sensation that we constantly inside the machine. This is not the last one. There is more to come. Thank you for supporting the series through the years. How many more years do I have to wait for the sequel? Oh my god, I have. Oh no! Okay! Sir! You cannot end it like this! No! Okay, we got it. This is much more in depth of like what is going on in the whole universe of to the moon or something. Because we had that in a few minisodes before, as if they are still constantly in the machine. As if they are running their best life. So they are in the machine now. As if Neo and Eva are already dead and they keep going into like reliving their life. I'll have to play this whole game again by myself eventually or just watch my playthrough all of it. My mind is blown right now. That was great. I missed the music though. I really did miss the music. In To the Moon and Finding Paradise we had amazing music from uh, what's her name? Laura Shigihara, I think. And she always was so on point, and then seeing all the the things of the past, like at the end, this 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 uh, college of things, and there was no music, no saying music. I got I got a little bit upset about that. Beautiful game, beautiful story, amazing that they were Neil's parents. This end was quite like, oh, okay, what's going to happen next? So now we have to wait like three to five more years to the sequence. But I like it. I really, really did like it. If you liked it as much as I did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more. I'm going to play tons of other games besides this one. Go back, watch To The Moon, Finding Paradise, both minisodes. The only one that I don't have on this channel is uh, the bird one, the bird story. But I don't know if I'm going to bring it. Uh, I should just sit down and play for a whole hour, so... I don't know, maybe someone asked. <laughs> I might play it. But yeah, that was it. I hope you all have a happy ever after without ever needing the machines that they give in Sigmund Corp. And without actually having to be in a simulation with Faye as the god of that world. And I'll see you all in the next tale. Bye bye.